In this video, we will perform the following metric conversions involving length using unit fractions. To begin, we want to convert 235 centimeters to meters. The first step is to write 235 centimeters as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now looking at the conversions, notice that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters and therefore we can use this conversion to form a unit fraction that will convert centimeters to meters. Because we have centimeters in the numerator here, and we want centimeters to simplify out, we need to have centimeters in the denominator and meters in the numerator. And again, since one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, the unit fraction is one meter over 100 centimeters. Notice in this form, we have centimeters divided by centimeters, and therefore the units of centimeters simplify out leaving us with meters. So now we multiply. We have 235 times one, which is 235. In the denominator, we have one times 100. And notice now the units are meters. And 235 divided by 100 is 2.35, which gives us 2.35 meters. So now we know 235 centimeters is equal to 2.35 meters. Now let's convert 1.3 kilometers to meters. We begin by writing 1.3 kilometers as a fraction with the denominator of one. And now looking at the conversions, we have one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. And since we want kilometers to simplify out, for the unit fraction we have to have kilometers in the denominator and meters in the numerator. And again, the conversion is one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters and therefore the unit fraction is 1,000 meters over one kilometer. And again, notice how the units of kilometers simplify out. And now we multiply and notice how the units are meters. And since the denominator is just one, 1 1.3 times 1,000 is equal to 1,300 and the units are now meters. 1.3 kilometers equals 1,300 meters. Next, we're asked to convert 4,687 millimeters to meters. We write 4,687 millimeters as a fraction with the denominator of one. Notice for this example though, there's not a direct conversion from millimeters to meters. We can convert millimeters to centimeters and then centimeters to meters. Because we'll use two conversions, this time we need two unit fractions. Let's first convert millimeters to centimeters since one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. We want millimeters to simplify out, and therefore we have to have millimeters in the denominator and centimeters in the numerator. And since one centimeter equals 10 millimeters, the unit fraction is one centimeter over 10 millimeters. The units of millimeters now simplify out, and now we have centimeters, but we want meters. So now we'll use the conversion that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, and because we want centimeters to simplify out, we need centimeters in the denominator and meters in the numerator. And again, the conversion is one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. The units of centimeters simplify out, and now we're finally left with, and now we have the units of meters. So now we multiply. In the numerator, we have 4,687 times one times one, which is 4,687 in the denominator, we have 10 times 100, which is 1,000. Notice the units are now meters. 4,687 divided by 1,000 is equal to 4.687, which gives us the number of meters in 4,687 millimeters. And for the last example, we want to convert 89 meters to centimeters. We write 89 meters as a fraction with a denominator of one. And now looking at our conversions, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. And therefore, this only requires one unit fraction. Because we want meters to simplify out, we have to have meters in the denominator and centimeters in the numerator. And since one meter is equal to 100 centimeters, the unit fraction is 100 centimeters over one meter. We have meters divided by meters, Meters simplify out, and now we multiply, and the units are now centimeters. Multiplying, we just have 89 times 100, which is 8,900, and again, the units are now centimeters. 89 meters 
is equal to 8,900 centimeters. I hope you found this helpful.